Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I'm back to share with you a few Halloween projects that I've been working on over the past several weeks. I have a shaker swag bag, a couple pocket letters, and some ribbon tassel charms, and some other charms. So let's get started. The paper line that I use for the shaker swag bag and also the pocket letters is the Halloween Night Stack by DCWV. I picked this up a few weeks ago um, and I never did a video on it but just in case you haven't seen it I'll just kind of do a quick flip through it's really pretty paper I love the fun bright colors and I picked this up from Joann's if I didn't say that already just really really cute and fun I love the bright Halloween colors as opposed to the kind of vintagey look so uh, it's not going to focus. Okay. So that's what that looks like. All right. So, shaker swag bag. I used an extra large bag from Michael's. And I'm sorry, I don't have the package in front of me to show you. But that's what I used for this. It's a craft color bag. And pretty much everything you're going to see here and also with the pocket letters is stuff that we've all seen or have from Target Dollar Spot, Michaels, uh, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore. So yeah. Alright so up at the top here I have some of that glitter trim from Target Dollar Spot. And I'm just going to zoom in. And then here I just layered a couple different trims. This banner die is from AliExpress. And then the letters here I got from Target Dollar Spot last year. And then here's my little shaker. And most of the sequins came from Cartwright sequins. I do have a few from um, the, the Dollar Tree. I have a few of those mixed in. But most of them are from Cartwrights. And then this really cute witch die I cut out of black glitter paper and I got that die from AliExpress and it looks like this and when I pick this up probably I got this back in August um, it was less than five dollars actually I checked the website this morning and it looks like it's about three dollars now so really really cute I love the sassiness of the witch and it's pretty unique so I really like that and then down here at the bottom I have some more of that trim from Target and I just added some blings to the center of the spiders. Okay, then here on the back I have um, some of that glitter trim or that glitter tape from Michaels and then this these candies came from Walmart and then this sticker and that sticker came from Target and then I just have some of the cut aparts from the collection. I love that creep it real. thought that was cute. And then I can write my message here. So I haven't really filled this up. I only have um, one thing in here and that's just another little shaker that I'm going to gift. So you can really see the witch die here. I cut that. I cut her out of gold paper. And again, just used that same die and the letters and then my little sequin mix that I created. So that is that. And I'll just show you these little projects here. I just made a, a little paper clip with some tool and some of this really pretty ribbon from Joann's. And then I just added um, that witch hat that came from Michael's. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then I also made this little rosette. It's actually a pencil. I made two of them. One of, one of them I already have at work, so I can't show that to you. But um, I just used my rosette die and that black flower, which I also have on the back covering where I glued everything. It's not, well... It's, I don't know what it is. It's like a crocheted flower, I guess. I'm not sure. But I got that from AliExpress. 
So I put that in the middle and then that pumpkin came from Target Dollar Spot. And then I just added some tool, some glitter tool from Dollar Tree and then this eyelash trim that I showed on my last haul from Hobby Lobby. So I thought that came out really cute. So I made those and then I made two pocket letters. So let me see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to give you an overview here. So that's my pocket letter. I haven't made a pocket letter in forever and I was itching to make one so that's why I went ahead and I made two. And then here's my little ribbon tassel charm. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can show this to you. So that pumpkin bead came from Michaels. I showed that on one of my haul videos. I just added a bunch of um, bead caps there. And then here's my all the ribbons that I used. So I want to make another one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time, but I really want to make another one of these. I've made two already. And this really pretty eyelash trim. I My friend Irene, who is Crafty Irina here on YouTube, she recently sent me some of the eyelash trim. I know I mentioned that I wanted some on my last haul video from, um, from Hobby Lobby. And she sent me a bunch of colors. So thank you so much, Irene. I so appreciate you sending me that. She sent me the black, the green, the red, the pink. So, yeah love it so these were a lot of fun to make so that's why I want to make some more <laughs> so I made that and that's hung on to the side with um, this lobster clasp I put this button through one of the holes and then I have this pin right here and it's called a coilless safety pin and I got these from eBay a couple years ago but if you if you type that in the search you should find them they come in different colors okay so let's show you the pocket letter so here is the first row and like I said I just used a lot of stuff that we all have been seeing around from um, these came from Dollar Tree Michaels Hobby Lobby so yeah I like the way it came out. I think it came out really cute. Um, that tag is from Michaels. Um, I got them when they were 50 cents. And just have some stickers here that came from Target. I made one of these um, washi tape samples using those mini binder, not binder clips, though, um, <laughs> the mini clipboards from AC Moore. And I painted it and just added some washi. And then here, just have some more stickers. This is a felt sticker, this ghost here, and it actually glows in the dark. I got that from AC Moore. Again, I used that really cute witch and some more of those glitter, um, the foam stickers from Dollar Tree, and then that came, that jack-o'-lantern came from Walmart. And then here's the last row. I used some more of that washi tape from Target and then the boo and that little spider came from Michaels that tag is from Target dollar spot I made a sequin mix sample there it's just in a little baggie and then I just added a um, sequin bow added some stickers there and here this last pocket I just added some more of those um, confetti pieces from Walmart and that cute cupcake came from Michaels and then that I love candy is from um, Hobby Lobby <clears throat> so I'm not finished filling it up yet I started putting a few things in here but this is the back I had some stickers um, that I got last year from Jolie's um, and it, I got that at Walmart and so I just added a bunch of stickers on the back so like I said I didn't fill it up yet but that's the back. So that is the first pocket letter. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here is the second one. 
I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. I love the way that this tassel charm came out. So that's an overview. And, you know, it's pretty much the same stuff, just different places. So I'll show you that real quick. And for this one, I use that little skull head. And then that witch hat is a felt sticker from AC Moore. And I just added some bling to the center. Another sequin mix there. And cute sequin bow. And then down here. So, yeah, I think it came out really cute. Oh, along the sides, I used some... Um, glitter tape from Dollar Tree in purple. So again I have that cute little button there that's this trick or treat that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take this charm off so that I can show you a little bit better. Okay so I think this came out so cute. So that's kind of an overview. So up here I just did something a little bit different. I just added beads to this one. And let's see. So here, I'm trying to show you this charm. So I have this spider charm here and I added some bling to the center. My camera would focus. There we go. And then some beads that match. Um, the ribbons and then I made this really cute pumpkin charm and I did a video on these last year I made a bunch of uh, fall and Halloween inspired charms so I just added this little pumpkin it was really easy to make with a bead and just wrap the wire around so that's the charm and then I use this big like disco ball bead here and then I used this um, two inch sequin bow. I got that from AliExpress. Added the witch hat in the center. And then I just used a variety of different um, ribbons and trims. And also some tulle. So this ribbon right here inspired the whole charm. I just love this ribbon. It's so pretty and sparkly. I got this from Joann's. And then the rest of them I got from Michael's. So, yeah. Love the way that came out. So that is the charm, the ribbon tassel charm. And I have two more charms. I'm going to change my camera view and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have two different charms that I created. This is the first one and it is black and silver inspired by this pumpkin charm here that I got from Joann's. So up here at the top I have a heart clasp that my friend Christine who is Shabby Pink House gifted to me. And, and then I have this really cute pumpkin charm. I believe I got that from eBay several years ago. And I also have this rhinestone chain that I hung from the top. I'm sorry my camera's not focusing. There we go. And the way that I was able to hang it, I believe these things right here are called um, cord endings or cord connectors or something like that. I don't know. If someone knows, please correct me. <laughs> but what I did was I just put a little bit of glossy accents um, on there and then laid the chain down and just allowed that to dry and then you, that way you can hang it because off of the roll there's no way to hang it. it just you know it just looks like that so that's what I did there and then I just wire wrapped a bunch of black and silver beads and then again there's that cute little pumpkin charm 
so that is the first one and this one I actually have hanging from my work bag and it just looks really cute hanging from that that bag alright so the next charm I love this one so this one was inspired by a charm pack that I again picked up from Joann's so I'll give you a little overview here really really cute so up here and I don't know if my camera is going to focus on it but it says drink up witches I don't think my camera is going to focus because it's so shiny but I'll just hold it to the side so it says drink up witches there and there you go and then I just hung a little green gem or a green rondelle from the top and this clasp I got from Joann's as well so I just used green and silver and um, black beads and also this was also part of that that pack of charms this little goblet here with some green liquid in it so I thought that was really cute too so there's the charms and then down here at the bottom it's a big um, like one of those disco ball beads got that from Michaels and then this really cute little cauldron and it says witches brew I don't think you can see that on camera but that's what that says so yeah so that is that charm I thought that came out really really cute okay so that is pretty much it you guys um, those are my projects these are my charms so I hope you liked my share um, let me know what you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you like it I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye